hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we're going to be installing a crm so today's video is all about crm installation in our previous video we had gone ahead to download the softwares we'll be needing for today's video so we had gone ahead to install our warm server our sublime text we have also installed the microsoft visual c plus plus so today's video is a follow-up of my previous video if this sounds like what you're interested in then definitely do keep on watching <laughs> Today's video is all about CRM installation. So we'll go ahead to download a CRM of our choice. And the CRM is going to be Suit CRM. So we're going to be installing Suit CRM today. All the link you'll be needing is in the description box. Like I said before, today's video is a follow-up of our previous video. The link is in the description box below. So kindly go ahead to watch that video before you continue with this one. As this is a follow-up of the previous one this is a part two of my previous video so let's get started guys okay guys let's go ahead to download the crm open our chrome crm installation guide the link is in the description box so you click on the crm installation guide and you scroll down a bit there are different options this is um, installation installing an on-site instance so you're installing it on your system so these are the php requirements we have php requirements that our warm server needs to have so let's go ahead to open our warm remember you have already installed it on your system so go ahead to open your warm So, my WAMP is starting up. I always like to left click and select restart all services. It makes it a bit fast. Okay. Left click on your WAMP. Go to local host. So, once your local host is open, this is my PHP. My PHP is version 7.2.14. So let's go ahead to confirm that we have this. BC Mats. You check for BC Mats. Just take your time. You can see my own BC Mats here. So just go ahead and ensure that you have all these requirements enabled in your WAMP. So confirm that you have everything enabled in your WAMP. So once you've gone ahead to confirm that, the next step is to... We have some um, requirements here, some recommendations. So let's start with display errors. Your display errors is usually on, on, one meaning on, and zero meaning off. So you have to um, go with the recommended option. So it is one here we need to turn it off so let's go ahead and open let's click on your one go to php you see php.ini you click on it and it will open up in your sublime text so since we've already made our sublime text um our defaults for the one it will automatically open it with sublime text for you so what i always do what i usually do is to go ahead copy this display error once you copy it go to your sublime text ctrl f to find and then paste it here display error you can see that it's on Go ahead to turn it off. Ctrl X to save. Just Ctrl S to save it. Then find if there is another display error. So you can see another display error here is on. Turn it off. Ctrl save. Then search for it again. 
so we've turned it off. Go ahead to save that. What is the next one? The next one is fast CGI login. Go ahead to copy that as well. And find it. If you check down and it's not down, so you can see that mine is already zero, so I don't need to change anything. Zero is recommended, and mine is already zero, so check yours. I don't need to change anything. Then, max execution time is usually 30, 120 is recommended then go ahead to check that mine is already 120 so I don't need to change anything if yours is 30 just delete and type in 120 but mine is already 120 go ahead to save it the next one is maximum input time so the max input time is usually minus one change it to recommended which is 120 Minus one, change that to the recommended, which is 120. And you save the next one is MB string function overload. Just to confirm, you go ahead and copy that. It's usually zero and recommended is zero. So you can see mine is zero, so I'm not changing anything. Next one is memory limits. The recommended is 512. Copy that and confirm. Recommended is 512. 512. The next one is post max size. Copy that and confirm as well. I copied a whole lot of things. If you don't want to copy, you can also type it. But I found that copying it is always easier, it's faster. So 100 is the recommended. Save. The next one is session use cookies. Copy that as well. So mine is already one, so I don't need to change anything. Copy this as well. One is recommended. This is zero is the default and zero is recommended. One four four zero is the default and that is recommended as well. So session use trans is zero and zero is recommended. Upload max file size is usually two and hundred is recommended. So go ahead to check that as well. Okay so go ahead to save please make sure it's saved so once you're done with that you left click on your warm and restart all services please note that you must restart all services for all the changes that you've made to be applied 
so you need to restart all services so let's go ahead and download a CRM the link is in the description box suitcrm.com so this is CRM website suit CRM website so you can go through the page later but let's just go ahead and download so you can also go ahead and check their page you will see the different versions of the CRM so we'll just go ahead to download the most recent one which is 7.11.15 so we're done with the installation guide so mine is done show in folder so you just go to the folder, copy it. Once you've copied it, go to your local disk, find your WAMP, WAMP64, go to your WW folder and paste it there. So once you've pasted it, let me go ahead to, okay, let me extract before I rename. So let me go ahead and extract mine here. So like I said before, why I like Suit CRM is because it is an open source software. Open source software meaning that it's free, you're not paying for it, and you have complete control. You have access to the code. So mine is done extracting. Let me go ahead to rename it to my CRM. My CRM. You can name it anything you want. So once I'm done with that, go back to your WAMP and refresh. You can see your projects will display here. So mine is my CRM, so it's already um, displaying here. So you can go ahead to type slash my CRM enter okay mine has a folder inside it sorry let me confirm that okay I don't want this folder inside mine so I'm supposed to extract inside my folder but it extracted in a folder inside my folder so I go ahead to copy and cut that paste it here then I can go ahead to delete this I guess is the way I extracted it so you might not have a problem with yours if you extracted it the right way but if you still have the same problem don't panic just copy it and paste it into the main folder and delete the other folder. So let me go back to my one. My share. So this is what you should see. So go ahead to accept. Next. So you can see based on the um, installation guide the PHP requirements you can see that everything says okay 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 if there's something you missed in yours you will not it will not be okay here so you have to go back to your one and make sure you enable it or you accept change yours to the recommended option 
so you can see that mine is okay everything is okay with mine so i can go ahead click next so here What do you want your database to be called? You have to select your database name. So I can say my CRM DB. So you can give your database any name you want. Host name is localhost. I'm using my localhost. So roots is the um, user is roots. I don't usually put a password, but you can put a password if you want. It's just so I don't forget it. I don't usually put a password so you can go to your suit crm application admin name so what is the name that you want your admin user to have i always leave mine as admin then the password just choose a password you can easily remember you can use welcome one two three you can use welcome one two three password one two three or small letter or you can have the first letter in capital so it depends on what you want Go ahead and confirm your password from one two three so this is your suit crm instance the url remember i named mine my crm so whatever you named yours is what you have here then email address happiness at gmail.com okay so that is it. You can go next. So I can decide to update my password to have it saved. So my CRM is installing. The configuration is ongoing. So here you can see configuration relationship is configuring my relationships, my CRM relationship, then it's creating the database. So it will go ahead to install. This might take up to um three minutes okay the setup of your suit crm seven point dot eleven dot fifteen is now complete total time you can see the total time it took approximate memory use you can see approximately the memory it's used on your system then you can go next so since i updated i saved my password my password is already here you can go ahead to login so guys this is my crm installed on my system there you have it so that is it for this video hey guys that is it with the crm installation i hope each and every one of you followed along and you're able to install the crm on your system in case you're having any challenge please kindly leave me a comment in the comment section and i'll go ahead to answer your questions if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so also turn on the post notifications so you don't miss any posts from me so now that you've installed the crm you can go ahead and explore the crm get to understand what the interface looks like my next video is going to be an introduction to the crm if you've not seen my previous videos here they are you can go ahead and watch my previous video thanks see you in my next video bye